The pressure of being compared to players like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant can break any player, and Wiggins was breaking. Brunson defends, snaps it outside to Wiggins. Goes by Bullock! Oh! Left with two choices, fold or reinvent himself. And it's what Wiggins did next that makes his story and lifestyle so remarkable. But first, how about we take a look at how Wiggins got the nickname Maple Jordan. Number 9. Andrew Wiggins' Early Life So what happens when you combine the genetics of two super athletes? Well, you get someone like Andrew Wiggins. Born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Wiggins grew up in Vaughan, Ontario alongside his five siblings. His dad, Mitchell Wiggins, averaged 23 points and 9 rebounds during his college years and was selected number 23 overall in the 1983 draft. After six seasons in the NBA, he played for three Greek teams during the mid-90s. While Wiggins' mom, Marita Payne Wiggins, might have been a higher caliber athlete than her husband, she was a track and field star and won two silver medals in the 1984 Olympics and helped Team Canada win the 4x400 and 4x100 relays in LA. The two met at Florida State and soon after began their large and very athletic family. Wiggins isn't the only star athlete at home. His middle brother Nick and his oldest brother Mitchell Jr. played college basketball too. So it doesn't take a lot to imagine how Andrew got interested in ball, but there is a unique angle to his story. Number 8. How He Started Basketball Unlike most future stars, Wiggins first became interested in basketball in Greece, where at just 6 years old he watched his dad practice and play with his team. He was enamored by basketball right away. Although he found the professional game to be beautiful, he learned the hard side of it from his brothers. Like most young kids, Wiggins played basketball at the park with his older brothers. And like every older and younger brother dynamic ever, the older brothers made sure that little Wiggins never won. Sometimes it got so bad that he would run home crying and bleeding and would tell his mom that he didn't want to play anymore. However, it wouldn't be long until Andrew flipped the script on his brothers. When he was 9, he began to play organized basketball and was already 5'7". By the time he was 13, he was dunking the ball. And if anyone has seen Wiggins dunk highlights, we know his brothers must have found themselves on the wrong end of a couple of posters. Just a year later, Wiggins grew to 6'6 six six and shattered a glass backboard at the Duffer and Clark Community Center. And it wasn't long after that Wiggins became a basketball sensation and people began to call him Maple Jordan paying homage to his Canadian roots and the great one. Number 7. Journey to the NBA Wiggins has been balling under the bright lights since he was a high schooler, and he got a taste of both the good and bad of being a celebrity. On one hand, kids were lining down the sidewalk and around the corner of the school games to get his autographs and watch him play. On the other, he basically grew up hearing the chant, overrated. Now this early exposure would be a blessing, as his NBA career would have lots of highs and many lows, so he learned early on how to deal with these emotions, but more on that in a little bit. By the time Wiggins finished his high school career, he would be named the 2013 Naismith Prep Player of the Year, Gatorade National Player of the Year, Mr. Basketball USA, and be considered the best high school player in the world. So naturally, he committed to one of the best college programs in America, Kansas. He would average 17-6, and six, including a 41-point game in college. His excellent play earned him consideration for the John R. Wooden's Men's Player of the Year and the Nysmith College Player of the Year. Naturally, this high school and college sensation elected to try his luck in the NBA next year and would be selected number one overall by the Cleveland Cavaliers, before being traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And this is where Wiggins' superstar projection began to falter. Number 6. Career Ups and Downs When your nickname is Maple Jordan and you have NBA legends like Steve Nash comparing you to Kobe Bryant and LeBron James entering into the league, saying that you have expectations, well, that would be an understatement. And things didn't start off too bad. Wiggins did win Rookie of the Year, and that seems to be the only good thing that he did with the Wolves. Wiggins was taunted to carry the Wolves organization and be the next great player in their franchise. Instead, the team repeatedly failed to make any progress. Many pointed fingers at Wiggins, saying that he lacked leadership qualities and also his lack of aggression and consistency. In some ways, Wiggins was just too nice. 
He is soft-spoken, shy, and doesn't like to do too many interviews and considers himself to be a humble person, a Canadian through and through. And this type of demeanor might have resulted in Wiggins being a bit too passive in the NBA. It often takes a highly ambitious and relentless player to carry an organization on their shoulders and bring the team to new heights. And it seemed like Wiggins just wasn't cut from that cloth, despite being a 20 points per game score and showing flashes of being a great defender as well. So in 2020, the Wolves organization decided to go a different direction and traded their former number one pick to the Golden State Warriors for D'Angelo Russell and a few picks and players. This trade would be viewed as a make it or break it moment in Wiggins' career as fans gave Wiggins some slack because of the Wolves organization's poor reputation. But now he was headed to the Dynasty Warriors and would be surrounded by some Hall of Famers. If Wiggins couldn't figure out how to play here, there really was no hope for him in the NBA. Number 5. Career Rejuvenation With the Warriors, Wiggins proved both his supporters and doubters correct. You might be wondering how that's even possible. Well, let's start with the doubters. During his tenure with the Wolves, his doubters continuously said that he wasn't a number one option and can't live up to his draft position, that he doesn't have what it takes to truly carry an organization. Well, with the Warriors, the pecking order was already established. Steph Curry was number one, and then it went Klay Thompson, Draymond, and then Wiggins and Poole rounded it out. So when Wiggins began to shine as a two-way player with the Warriors now that he had less pressure and usage, his doubters pointed at that and said, we told you so. However, Wiggins supporters pointed at the very same thing and were proud of their boy. Wiggins proved to be an essential part of the Warriors championship run. In fact, in the playoffs, he was the second best Warriors player as he guarded the other team's best player while scoring 16.5 points per game and snatching 7.5 rebounds. There, Wiggins supporters believed he lived up to his hype as the Warriors wouldn't have won a championship without him. And isn't that the whole point of being a number one pick? That rarefied spot goes to someone who has championship potential attached to their name. And Wiggins is an NBA champion now, who also got paid like one recently. Number 4 NBA Contract Wiggins came into the league on a four-year, $24.8 million contract. This included an average salary of $6.2 million. So no wonder the laid-back star has been seen roaming around in Ferraris. After this, he signed a one-year, $16.6 million deal with the Wolves. And then that was followed by a five-year, $147 million deal, which both the Wolves and the Warriors covered. So even though he might not have lived up to the number one pick spot, he still secured the bag. And after the Warriors saw how valuable Wiggins was to their championship, they extended his contract for another four years for $109 million. Now, big NBA contracts are not his only source of income. Throughout the years, Wiggins has also racked in cash through various different endorsements and sponsors. Number 3. Endorsements Despite the nickname Maple Jordan, Wiggins ultimately picked Adidas over Nike. The rumors have it that the deal was somewhere between 10 to 12 million dollars. And since that shoe deal expired, Wiggins inked a new shoe deal with the Chinese shoe manufacturer, Peak. Speaking of shoes, Wiggins is also endorsed by Foot Locker. He appeared in several Foot Locker commercials alongside stars like Damian Lillard and celebrities like Jimmy Kimmel. Outside of the shoe world, Wiggins had a deal with the sports nutrition brand BioSteel and also Fitbit. Wiggins has been a global star since his teenage years, and that is more than evident through his social media following. Number 2. Social Media Presence Wiggins has been the main representative of Canada in the league, so naturally he has had the entire backing of a nation. That is why on Twitter he had nearly 600,000 followers, and on Instagram his following is nearly 2.5 million. Instagram seems like Wiggins' main social media account as he posts videos of his game highlights, brand deals, and of course, a few chosen snapshots of his beautiful family. He and his longtime partner, Michelle, have two daughters together, but he is selective about how much he exposes his personal life online. As we said earlier, Wiggins is a humble and introverted star, so he keeps a lot of things close to his chest. Number 1. His Net Worth but one thing that Wiggins might have a hard time keeping a secret is his net worth. 
He has signed several lucrative contracts and on top of that has inked many endorsement deals. The way he has been balling with Golden State, plus his relatively young age, Wiggins could easily sign one or two more mouth-watering deals before it is all said and done. But for now, we would estimate that his net worth is somewhere around the $120 million mark, and his contract extension with the Warriors has not even kicked in yet. Once that happens, the number will surely climb near $200 million. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. With that being said, you just watched us break down Andrew Wiggins' remarkable story and lifestyle. We'll see you next time.